Today we are ruthlessly reviewing Harry Styles brand Pleasing. I'm really excited. <laughs> now this is not merch. It's like an actual high end, pretty expensive brand with lots of categories. By the way, welcome back to my super secret second channel where we review stuff, we rank stuff and we just hang out. It's pretty chill, you should subscribe. Okay, so I knew about Harry Styles Pleasing nail polish. I remember when Simply Nailogical did a review like a year ago. And from what I remember, it was decently good, a little on the expensive side, but like the branding's cool, color choices are fun, but I had no idea there were so many other things on the website. I don't know if that's a newer thing or what, but we are going to be trying items from every single category. The website is beautiful, the prices are high. Let's see if any of it's worth it. Oh, I bought a couple of things for you as well. Okie dokie. Wow, they really packed this box full. I told you we got everything. <laughs> Starting with nail polish, of course. So they have like four packs of nail polish for $65. Or you can get them individually or you can like mix and match the four of your choice. But I went with, um, okay, I thought it was gonna come in like a cuter box than this, but I'm spoiled by my hollow taco. Ah! What? Stickers? Are they four nails? They're just all letters, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with them, but that's cool and pleasing one. We love a freebie. And honestly, these products, some of them come with a lot of freebies. Freebies, like the price is high, so you're paying for it, but. Okay, so here are the colors that came in it. We've got Inky Pearl, Granny's Pink Pearls. Ooh, I like the marbly top, pearly tops, and Perfect Pearl. I thought this was just regular white, but it has a really pretty pearl sheen to it. Okay. Okay, and I ripped off all my fake nails, so it's a perfect time to test out some nail polish. Looking a little sad and stubby, so we'll see if they can make these look good. I don't know, feels nice. Okay, it definitely is gonna take a couple coats, but it's very smooth. Let's do grandma's pink pearls on the next finger. Okay, a little more sheer. Pearly top's just gonna be completely clear. Ooh, okay, this one's gonna be pretty with a couple of layers. I'm pretty impressed so far. There's coat one. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more coats of everything and then be right back with the final result. Okay, my hand is done. I actually really like the black. The black is my favorite. The pink and the white are streaky, but I think that's my fault. I probably could have done a third coat. I really liked the top coat too, but overall very smooth, quick drying. I like it. And I threw a little H in the middle for hope or Harry, whichever way you want to interpret that. Okay, next category is fragrance. So they have like actual spray fragrances, but I'm not in the market for those. So instead I decided to do candles and I'm really excited. They're so expensive though. <laughs> I hope they're a decent size because these were $80 and I got one of each scent. Okay, let's start with closeness. Cute, okay. It's kind of just a regular sized can. Oh my gosh, I love that. Wow, it's like a luxury hotel. Just like clean linens. That's what it reminds me of is like fresh hotel bedding. <laughs> let's see what it actually says it is. How cute is that though? The glass top? I'm not gonna lie, expensive candles are one of those things that don't really let me down. <laughs> No, they're usually pretty good. Oh my gosh, I knew it. Australian pink pepper extract, cardamom, and clean sheets. <laughs> Nailed it. The descriptions are so intense though. Woody musk. That's a lot. <laughs> I just smell the clean sheets. They nailed that part. So all of the candles that I have also come in like a spray fragrance. Yeah, that's a good one though so far. It's like nine out of 10 candles. Next up is Bright Hot. <laughs> the packaging is actually so good. I will give them that. This one we've got a clear lid, a fun orange bowl. Okay, that's pretty. And I like that you could like reuse these. They're very cute. I'm trying to, it just smells like a perfume in a good way. Like a musky citrus, woody amber with plum and tobacco leaves, cedar wood, vanilla. Sure, that one's definitely harder to place, but very good. I give this one a seven out of 10. I can smell the trees too. Third one is rivulets. Is that how you say that word? Ooh, fun orange lid and, oh no, she's broken just a little bit. Ooh, very clean, soapy. I, can't, I really can't think of another word other than clean for this one though. Floral fresh amber, fresh, definitely. <laughs> like a six out of 10. Closeness is definitely the best one. That is a good candle. Okay, moving on to beauty. We've got both makeup and skincare. Let's start with the skincare. I'm excited for this one, honestly, mostly just for the packaging. <laughs> this is the Acid Drops, $35. They really just committed to the Acid Drop 
theme. I gotta love it. Look at this box. It's like some of the cutest packaging. Okay, so this is an overnight serum, but mostly just exfoliates and hydrates, brightens, evens, all that good stuff. Um, just sounded nice. Okay, oh my God. Harry Styles' entire team, like whoever his stylist is, his branding, PR, like he just nails all of it. Like this is cool. That is a beautiful packaging job. You can see the little pleasing at the bottom. And then you put your little dropper in. That's so nice. Oh, that feels nice. It's very cooling, gives like an instant little glow, but it's not too heavy. No scent. I like that. I'm definitely gonna use that. Okay, the other skincare one that I got just looked kind of weird. <laughs> You might remember on, I think it was my main channel, I got that weird like Dijon mustard foundation that had the little pearls in it. Interesting texture. Well, Pleasing has not a foundation, but an illuminating serum that's kind of the same idea with these pearls. I'm not really sure if the pearls actually like come out. I would assume so. So this has vitamin B, antioxidants, amino acids, lots of good stuff for your skin. Okay, it's just giving me gel. Yeah, I don't see anything pearly about that. Oh, and I put way too much on my hand. You want some? Other side. Does that actually feel nice? It actually does feel pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Glowing. I wanted the pearls to come out. See if we can pop one. Oh, well they're trying to come out. Okay, here's half a pearl. Okay, so the pearls just kind of explode into more gel. I thought it would have like a fun highlighting effect, but I'm not really seeing that. So if you're going for the aesthetics, this doesn't really do anything, but I think it is genuinely like a nice formula. Okay, moving into the makeup and also the stuff I got for you guys. We have the pressed powder pigments. This is $50. I feel like that's kind of a lot for a small makeup palette. Okay, so it comes in a little tin. Wow, that's nice. Like I said, very small pans for $50, but maybe it's amazing. So everything in this palette is meant to be used all over your entire face, except the bright pink you're not supposed to use by your eyes, which is kind of sad. They have some pretty fun examples on the website of different things you can do. You can use any sort of like brush sponge, your fingers. You can even add a little bit of water to it if you want a more or liquid paint consistency. I think I know what this makeup palette calls for and it's pre-shower makeup. This is when you do your makeup with all of the styles and products that on a normal day, you wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable wearing out. So today I'm gonna try this trend that I've seen where you do a beautiful like sunset across your eyes and then you take off the tape and it looks beautiful. We have really pretty colors for it. I'm gonna start with this pink because I'm not supposed to put it by my eyes. So instead we're gonna do that one right down the middle. Whoa. Okay, and then pink is gonna transition into our orangey gold here. Okay, honestly, these colors are so pretty. Although this palette wasn't cheap, so it better be good. I like that shiny pink in the middle too. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Okay, let's go green next. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. These might be some of my favorite eyeshadows ever. And I'm not even like doing a good job applying them or like prepping my face correctly or anything. And <laughs> they're still so good. <sighs> I'm thinking purple next. Blue would make more sense if we we're going for rainbow, but I'm afraid of how dark it is. So we're gonna do purple. <gasps> yes, that's about the best we can do. And then it said, since you can mix some liquid and make it like a paint, that's what I'm gonna do with the white. Okay, but step one, taking this off. <gasps> it's so lopsided. <laughs> The colors are pretty. Okay, stars. I'm just gonna use some setting spray. Dip it in the white. Lop on some stars. Okay, I wouldn't say it's working best as paint. I think there's other products you could use if you wanted like an actual face paint consistency. I think this white would definitely be better as a base or like an inner eye color. <laughs> what? Honestly, that's really cool. With a little bit more practice and a little bit more effort, we really could have done some but I'm gonna go shower this off now. <laughs> I did get one of these for you guys as well. And I also, moving on to the clothes, got you a clothing item too. Okay, which one do I wanna give you? I'm gonna give you this one. So let's open mine first. Okay, so 
<laughs> These are t-shirts that were $120. It's a lot. Um, what else about them? Oh, they come in size extra small to 5XL. And with the t-shirt, you get this limited edition bag. I don't really know what else I would use this bag for, but that's nice, I guess. And like I said, lots of freebies <laughs> for your $120 price tag. It comes with a nail polish and a tiny plushy keychain. Okay, well, let me show you the t-shirt first because then the other things will make more sense. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. What is this one called? I'm like flamingo. Why is this called that? It's definitely a bunny. She definitely has two legs. I'm kind of confused by that, but yeah, cute t-shirt. It feels really, really nice. 100% cotton, 50% recycled. It has that like pre-washed, pre-worn soft feel to it, which I really love. The print feels pretty. This is a nice t-shirt. Okay, and then it also comes with a nail polish. Okay, I already know I'm gonna love this color. It's a bright pink. It has like a matte top. That's so cute. And all the t-shirts come with a matching keychain. I think this is so fun, honestly. Look at her. You would rip her legs off in two seconds. Can't have. So fun. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the one that I got you. This is the Grape Feet Bundle. Same exact type of t-shirt, but it's these cute grapes with little faces. Okay, and it comes with, oh my gosh, that one's so cute. The grape keychain and your grape feet nail polish. This fun purple. I think that's so fun. I've never seen anybody do like little bundles quite like this and I think it's brilliant. Okay, we've got a couple more clothing items. Items. I also bought the most expensive thing on the entire website. So let me put all this away. If you're interested in some of this stuff that I bought for you, I'm gonna post it on my secret Instagram account, Hope Scoop Official, and you can go comment to get it there. All right, our next clothing items are the sweats. We thought the t-shirts were expensive. <laughs> Heavyweight drawstring hoodie. Ooh, it does have a nice weight to it. Okay, I'm actually really impressed. I have owned a lot of sweats in my days. These are nice ones. Also 100% cotton, everything is made in LA, 50% recycled. This was $165 for this hoodie. And it's just kind of a plain hoodie. And then it has the tiny pleasing tag on the pocket. And to go with that for $135, the pleasing sweatpants. These look so comfy to be honest, same thing. Just the tiny logo on the pocket. And that's it as far as branding goes. Um, insert try on hope here to model the cute sweats. They have kind of that like towel like texture on the inside, nothing like crazy soft. And now for the most expensive thing on the entire internet. Not internet, why did I say that? <laughs> Can you imagine? A $10 million, no, the most expensive thing on the website. And it was still a lot, $260. It is, well, there's actually two versions of this, the knit sweater. So there's one that's like a blue with a red heart. Fun, but not really my style. So I decided to go with the Swans one. I, I, I just, I could see myself actually wearing this one, not so much the other one. Oh, it feels nice. Okay, why was this so much money? Is it cashmere? Lamb's wool. Okay, let's try it on. Wow, this is cute. It's very comfy. I don't think I've ever actually owned a cashmere sweater, so I don't know how to compare it to that, but it's nice. Is it nicer than like a $60 sweater? I don't know. One of my friends just informed me that this is the sweater that Harry Styles actually wore when he debuted his buzz cut haircut. So I had no idea it was iconic. <laughs> I'm overall very impressed. It's a brand I might actually order from again. Make sure to check out my other celebrity brand reviews if you haven't already. And we will see you guys in the next video. Say bye YouTube.